Hi everyone, it's Jordan again, and for today we're going to try something a little bit different. Uh, my mom has been talking a lot about the importance of words lately, and more specifically word choices. And what she means by that is that there is such a significance in the words that we say, the words that we think and reflect on, the words that we strive to achieve in our lives, and even the words that describe how we act. Each of those things are, are very important to God, and as such, they should be very important to us as well. So what my mom has started doing, and I'm totally stealing this from her, by the way, is she'll take two words that either kind of sound similar or are um, used interchangeably sometimes, or even just two opposing but really good, important words, and she will compare the two of them. One might be um, a way that our human minds are tending to go toward, and the other one might be the way that God is calling us to go toward instead. If that doesn't make sense, hopefully it will by the end of today, because that is what we are going to try to do today. And this may even end up being my first vlog series, but I don't want to get ahead of myself. I'm not going to lock into that. We're going to see how today goes first. But what we're going to do today is talk about the two words, pondering versus paralyzed. And I hope you'll see in a little bit what I mean by all of this and how those two words can connect. So when we're faced with a struggle or a fear, or a trial or something that we're going through that we're having a hard time with, how do you handle it? For me, of course, we would all hopefully say that we try to trust God with it, but what does that trusting God look like? For me, it means distracting myself. If I can not think about it, if I can take my mind off of it, that to me is the best that I feel like I can get some days. If I can just distract myself from it, say, okay, God, you take this and I'm going to just completely take my mind off of it. And I don't think that there's anything necessarily wrong with that. But what about the moments when you can't distract yourself from it? When the problems are so big that they're just right in front of your face and there's nothing you can do to take your mind off of them. What about in the middle of the night when you can't distract yourself and you can't get your mind to go to sleep? In fact, I'll tell you a little secret. My mom helped me come up with these two words, pondering versus paralyzed, at three in the morning because I was having one of those nights where I couldn't sleep because the different trials and struggles and just thoughts that were going through my mind were just keeping me awake. And I bet you've had nights like that as well. I think that we all have. So what I wanna do to start with is just read the definition of both of these words. I looked the definition of each of them up. So pondering means to think carefully about something. And paralyzed means to render someone unable to think or act normally, especially through panic and fear. Now, which one is you? When you're faced with something, you can't distract yourself from it. It's such a big problem, such a big trial that it's just up in your face and unavoidable. Which one do you turn to? Pondering, thinking carefully about it, or paralyzed, unable to think or act normally because of panic or fear? I know what it is for me. I get paralyzed. Notice though that ponder had no mention of the word fear. Ponder instead seemed to imply an idea of moving forward, having peace about something. Yes, thinking about it. Yes, recognizing its existence, but not to the point where it rendered you unable to move. And not to the point where you were afraid of it. There's no mention of fear in the definition of ponder, whereas it's right there in big letters in the definition of paralyzed, brought on by panic or fear. Even in the Bible, the word ponder is mentioned in two different places. Mary, Jesus' mom, pondered. She thought deeply about something. It says that she kept these things and pondered them. Never does it mention that Mary was ever paralyzed. 
So I wonder if, if God were here right now and if he were, were doing this vlog with us, which one would he call us to do? I think that it's pretty obvious. He would say, don't be paralyzed. How many times have I told you not to fear? The answer to that, by the way, as we've already talked about in a previous vlog, is 365. Enough for every single day of the year. God has told us in the Bible, do not be afraid, do not fear. He would say, don't be paralyzed. Don't be so, so afraid of this situation that you just get stuck, that you just kind of ruminate in it and just let it keep you awake and let it just destroy you inside. No, he doesn't want that for us. He doesn't want us to have those nights where we're just unraveling and we're just so torn up that we can't even think straight and we can't even act normally because of the fear and panic going on inside of us. That's being paralyzed. That's being paralyzed by the situation. That's letting the situation have control. And we don't wanna do that. God doesn't want us to do that. But we can ponder the situation if it's something that we just can't distract ourselves from. To me, I was thinking about what does ponder even mean to me? Like I've got the definition, but, but what does that mean to me? And to me, I was kind of thinking that that's a willingness to sit in the situation. A willingness to sit in the situation, but not to let the situation control me. Not to let the situation keep me from having the peace of God. Not to let the situation keep me from living my life, or acting normally, or moving. It's being willing to sit in it and recognize this is really hard. This is a bad situation. I can't stop thinking about this situation, but I'm still moving forward in faith. I'm still realizing that the situation doesn't control me. God is in control of the situation. It's being aware of the situation, yet still somehow okay with the situation. And I believe that that can only come from God. Because I know the situations that you're facing are hard. You might say, yes, but you don't know my situation. If you thought about it, you would not be okay. And I get that. I get that. But I think what God is saying to us is that he can help us with that that he can give us that peace so that we can still be okay, even in the midst of those situations. And you know what? While we're pondering that situation, why don't we take some time to ponder about Jesus? Why don't we take some time to say, okay, I'm gonna think carefully about how Jesus is over my situation, how Jesus is in control of it. He's in control of my life, how he's with me, how he loves me, how he's holding me, how he's always faithful. On and on and on you could go. Let's ponder who Jesus is. Let's ponder what he wants us to ponder. And let's never let ourselves be paralyzed by the situations that we are in. Because God is over them. God is in control. God has a plan with each of them. I hope that encouraged you today. God is good all the time. Bye.